everybody, it's Ramona here again from RamonaRemesat.com with the weekly oracle card reading. This is going to be the reading for the week of September 14th through the 20th. And I'm excited because I'm going to do this week's reading with the Magical Unicorn cards. Um, this deck actually, um, I'm borrowing it from my daughter. <laughs> so uh, I really love these cards. I haven't worked with them in a while, but uh, let's go ahead and see what comes up. So as always, I'm going to choose three cards, one for Monday and Tuesday, which I think wants to be this one. And this one's going to be the middle of the week. And actually this one right here is going to be for the weekend. Okay. Oh, this is cool. <clears throat> Monday and Tuesday is very soon. Sorry, I know we're getting a glare on that card. Um, very soon. And the message on this one um, says what you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. So the other side message that's going along with that is it feels to me like a lot of you have been waiting and waiting and, you know, kind of talking to your angels, giving them a job to do, getting really good at listening to their, recognizing the guidance, however that might show up for you. And then you're following it and yet you haven't been seeing any sort of help or evidence of their work. And you're kind of getting frustrated with that. And a lot of you are kind of maybe on the verge of just shutting it right down and saying, forget it. I give up. I'm not using those angels anymore. I don't believe in this or it's not working for me or whatever. And this is their way of saying you're this close. Like don't give up now. They are always working on what you've asked for help with. But remember, sometimes they have to lay a groundwork or a foundation first. And you know, they can't you know, build a house without the foundation, right? So you have to hang tight sometimes and trust, and that's the hard part, right? Trusting and knowing that they hear you and that they are working on whatever it is you've asked for help with. So I wanna give you a handy tip, okay? Because I understand you know, it's hard. You're putting this ask out there into sort of thin air and you don't know if there's actual anybody, anything, who receives that and is actually doing anything with it. So when you're not sure, you know, you can just say, angels, I really just need a sign. You know, you want to ask for a sign so that you know that they've heard you. So you can say it this way. And I do encourage you to use these words and you'll see why in a minute. Angels, please show me a clear sign in the physical world that I will easily recognize within the next 48 hours. The reason why you want to phrase it that way is because you're asking for a clear sign that you'll easily recognize, right? In the physical world, not a dream, because sometimes people think, oh, I got this dream and I think it was a sign, but I don't know because I was dreaming. So forget it. Take that out of the equation. You want to ask for something in the physical world and you give them a time frame. So within that time frame, you're either going to see your sign or you're not, and that's if you don't see the sign, that's kind of your sign. That's an answer too, right? Now, some of the common angel signs that you want to look for are finding coins, finding feathers, seeing birds or butterflies, and it could be in a large amount or in a very unusual circumstance. They don't even have to be real. They could be in a picture, on an item of clothing, things of that nature. Um, or number sequences, you might see 444, 777, or the 1111, those types of things, right? So those are the common angel signs. Or you might see something completely different, but it is just you look, you see that or you experience something and you know that is your sign because it is very significant for you. So that's something that you can do in the meantime when you haven't seen that evidence yet of them fully helping you, just so that you know you're not going cuckoo and kind of talking to thin air, like I said, but that they are actually, you know, re they've received your message and they are helping you. Okay, so I just wanted to give you that as a, um, as a tip. So in the middle of the week, we have one step at a time with this beautiful rainbow and the message on the card is lot, uh, lots of little steps make big dreams come true. And that is so true. But what they're really wanting to say with this, I'm excited. What they're really wanting to stay with, say with this is that they know we're busy. We lead, lead crazy lives. And so the way they guide us is by kind of almost giving us breadcrumbs, right? They lead us to one point and we recognize something and we do something. And then we evolve and we move to the next point and they give us another breadcrumb and things like that. A lot of times when people work with their angels, 
especially when they're wanting clarity on, is on an issue or they're wanting to know about do they go forward on something, they're expecting this big like epiphany, right? Where the, the heavens open and the sunbeam is streaming down and there's doves flying and it's like that, oh, moment. And that's not always how it works. They're gonna give you information, but it's kind of one nugget at a time so that it's more easily digestible and you don't get overwhelmed, right? So it's like little by little by little by little, they're bringing you in the direction that you need to go. And when you go off track, that's when they're like those, I call them like spiritual sheep herding dogs. They will, they know when you get off your path, so they kind of run after you and they nip at your heels. And that's when you might feel those intuitive nudges, you know, where you're kind of almost, and see how my body's turning, because that's what it is. It's almost like you feel like you've been going down this road, but all of a sudden you're like, no, I feel like I need to go over here, right? Or you want to move in a new direction that, may be completely different than anything you've done before. So follow those, but again, it's one step at a time. And also the secondary message that's coming through with this is them reminding you that every day, if you're already on that path, like you're, you're switching gears, make sure you're doing something each and every day that's furthering you along that new path, right? And taking small steps toward that. That doesn't mean you have to, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but you know, maybe that means just making a phone call that day or doing some research into something that day um, or contacting a certain person or trying to arrange something that's going to further you in that direction to where you want to go, right? So think about that as well. And then as the end we uh, the week ends, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be different. And so I'm just moving it so you don't get the glare off of that. And the message is you don't need to be just like everyone else. You're perfect just as you are. So really the message here is stop comparing yourself. Okay, the reason being, you know, your path is unique to you. Your path is your path, their path is their path. It's like trying to get Ramona back again, and sorry about that. Uh, let's continue. It seems that I'm being affected by mercury retrograde prematurely. It's still a few days away, but here we are with our techno glitch. So anyhow, as I was saying, the end of the week is about it's okay to be different and you know, you can't compare yourself with others because it's like comparing apples and oranges. So just be compassionate with yourself. Realize you are where you need to be right now and take away all that notion of, um, you know, comparing yourself with others. So that's it for the unicorn cards. Love these cards. Hope you guys do too. And again, a reminder, if you haven't yet grabbed my free gift, it's a three-part video series called The Three Essential Steps to Get Anything You Want in Life and some really simple but very powerful tools are revealed in those videos. So you can grab them at my website, www.ramonaremesat.com. The uh, address comes up at the end of the videos. And in the top corner, just enter your name and email and then check your email box for a confirmation. You have to confirm that you wanna get the videos. And once you click the link in that email, they will be in your inbox. So make sure you um, check for that. If you're on a Gmail account, just check your um, uh, promotions tab because for some reason, sometimes my emails end up in there. So that's it for a great week. Have fun and remember to work with your angels and I hope I will see you all here next week. Thanks everybody. Bye.